There's a great Frank Zappa song called 13 where he teaches the audience how to count in 13. In this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can count in 13 and how you can use Polynome to actually voice those counts. So we'll start off by creating a new preset. I'm going to tap on the disk icon, choose create new preset and call it 13v1. And I'm going to change the rhythm here by tapping the metronome and choosing change rhythm. And I'll set the time signature to 13.8. And then I'll clear this rhythm. And I'll enter the way that Frank teaches the audience to count, which is five eighth notes followed by four quarter notes. So one, two, three, four, five eighth notes, and then one, two, three, four quarter notes. And you can see here that it says we filled a bar of 13. And then what I'm going to do is assign some voice counting to this. So I'll tap on the rhythm and choose change sounds. And then I'll tap and hold one of the sound buttons to get to the sound picker. And I'll search for voice. And on the R button, I'm going to have voice count one to four. four. And on the L button, I'll also have voice count one to four. four. And you'll see why in a second. So now what I want to do is count the way that Frank counts on the record, which is one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Now, if I tap the R button, one. you can see that Polynome would go through voice count one to four and assign it to these notes. So it would count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And then it would repeat back to two, three, four. Uh, and what I want to do is change this. And so it's one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So in the reset options, I'm going to choose reset voice with new sound. And what that does is it will start the counting over every time I use a new sound button. So I can go one, two, two. and then use a new sound button. One, one two, two three. three. And then use a new sound button again. One, one two, two, three, three four. four. Hit done. And this is how Frank counts the song. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And the tempo is about 185 on the record. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And we might want to accent the start of each group. So I'll tap on here and choose change accents and accent the one, one, one. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So that's one way of counting 13. So I'm going to go ahead and save the changes. And then I'm going to save this as 13 V2 and make some alterations here and count it in the way that Mike Mangini would count. So I'm going to change the rhythm by tapping. In fact, I'll clear the metronome and we'll start over. So I'll tap change rhythm. Set it to be 13.8 again. And this time I'll enter 13.8 notes. So there you go, one bar is filled. And then I'll tap and change sounds. And this time I'm going to choose Four. voice one to seven. So Four. we'll find that. Seven. And this is because Mike Mangini's method of counting odd times is called not quite doubled. So seven add seven, seven doubled is 14. Seven not quite doubled is 14 minus one, which gives us 13, eight. And what he does is essentially counts one, one rest, two, two rest, three, three rest, four, four rest, five, five rest, six, six rest, seven. seven. And the not quite doubled means that we drop the and from the end of this. So he's counting one and two and three and four and five and six and seven, one and two, three four, five, six, seven, one. So let's hear how this sounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So that's another way of counting 13. So I'm going to save this. And now what I'm going to do is put these into a playlist. 
So we'll swipe across to the presets page. I'll tap the multi-select button, choose 13v1, 13v2, actions, add presets to playlist. So we'll call this 13. And at the moment, these are set to loop. So I'm going to go and click on the playlist time row, choose set all reps to one. So now they'll play one rep each. And then I need to set this playlist to auto advance because at the moment I'll play this. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then it stops. So in the playlist controls, we tap the row, turn on auto advance, turn on play when advancing and turn on playlist looping. So now this will switch between those two ways of counting 13. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. Okay, so that's two ways of hearing 13. Now let's create a third way. And this time I'm going to add a new item to the playlist by duplicating this one here. So we'll tap the plus icon and choose duplicate item with new name. And I'll call it version 3. And then we can swipe back to view version 3. And I'm going to modify this count by clicking on change sounds. And what I'm going to do is instead of dropping the rest from the end of the bar, I'm going to drop it from somewhere in the middle. So I can swipe on here and let's remove it between beats 3 and 4. So I'll hit Del, which will delete the item that the white note is highlighting. And then we'll swipe to the end and put the rest back in there. And then I'll save the changes. So now we're losing the beat here instead of at the end, and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we jump to the next one in the playlist. So now we can play through this playlist. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Now to finish off, I'm going to add a groove to metronome 2 so we can hear what it sounds like to play a groove under those counts. So let's go ahead and change the time signature here to 13.8. And this time I'm going to fill it with 16th notes so we can play a groove based on 16th notes. I'll hit done. I'll go in here and change the sounds. So let's put in a hi-hat on a kind of one and a. And then on line two, I'll put some kick and snare patterns. So let's have kick, something quite simple. Snare on two, snare on a uh, kick, snare, kick, and then snare, kick, snare. So we've kind of gone uh, four note groups and then three note groups and two note groups. And let's just hear how this sounds. Save the changes, and I'm going to update the pattern. And I'm just going to tap here to exit the playlist for a second, so we can hear how this sounds with the groove. Okay, that sounds pretty crazy at that speed, so I'm going to first of all bring the tempo down a little bit, and then I'm going to reduce the volume of the hi-hat. So that groove doesn't really go with the phrasing of the count, but you know, it's just an experiment. So let's save this. And then let me show you how we can paste this groove into those other counts. I'm going to tap the preset name and choose copy preset. So that's copied everything about this preset the contents of metronome one, the contents of metronome two, and all the faders and things. So then what I want to do is paste metronome two into those other items. So I will swipe to the playlist. I will tap the pencil icon and select all of these items. And then in the actions menu, I'll choose paste attributes. And I want to paste from metronome two in the clipboard into metronome two of everything else. And I think I want to paste everything. Uh, 
uh, and then I can lock the tempo of these so these all play at the same tempo. So now what we'll have is the same groove for three bars but with different counting. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. So there you go. That's how you can use point on to help you learn to play in thirteen.